Chandler, Arizona, and today we're going to go over how to calibrate a few different sensors with the Anderson Hauser CM48 model. Today we are looking at three different sensors. We're going to be looking at a pH sensor. We're going to be looking at a disinfectant chlorine sensor and as well as a nitrate sensor. All three of these use different calibration methods. The nitrate sensor is going to use a known solution using a one point calibration. The pH probe is going to use a known solution. We have two buffers here, a four and a seven. And then the chlorine sensor will be using a DPD tester and using the value given to us by the DPD tester to calibrate the chlorine sensor. Each one of these sensors is using memo base technology. When you plug these sensors into the Quick Connect, they will be recognized automatically on the display. We have three sensors here. We have pH glass, free chlorine, and nitrate. So we will start off with pH. We're gonna prep our solution. We have a four and a seven. We're going to just use some cups we have laying around for the solution. One thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check the expiration date to make sure the solution's not expired. So we have two solutions. We have a four pH. Gonna just pour enough in here so we can fully submerge the sensor. Once again, just make sure you check the expiration on the pH buffer solution that you're using to make sure that it's not expired. We're gonna go into calibration menu for pH. We're gonna do a two point calibration do you want to start the calibration? Okay. And you can see which buffer it's asking. It's asking for buffer seven. So in this case here, we're going to remove the sensor from the wetted. You wanna be careful when you're removing these. They are glass sensors with a little O-ring. So we're going to immerse it in the seven solution, which is going to be the green solution. Please clean sensor. If you had a sensor you were taking out of the process, you'd want to clean that with some distilled water um, before you actually put it in the process so you didn't con contaminate your solution. Um, this is a brand new sensor, so we know we don't have to do that. But if you were taking it out of your process, you'd want to rinse that with distilled water. We're gonna hit okay and it's gonna give us a stable value. It's gonna automatically look to see what value you're reading. You may wanna stir the sensor. And if you look, you wanna make sure that the sensor tip is, is completely submersed in the solution. And you can stir it slowly. You're just looking to get a good reading there. And we've got our reading, it was 6.92 versus a seven. And now you can say, please, you can see where it says, please clean sensor before immersing in buffer solution two. So in this case, you'd want to use some DI water. Uh, we don't have any in this case. Um, and what you're really doing, you don't want to contaminate the second buffer solution. So you'd want to rinse off your sensor before putting it in buffer solution number two. Please clean sensor, okay. And then we're gonna put it in our second buffer solution. And we're gonna be waiting for a stable measurement there. You can see it's adjusting, it's reading live. Waiting for a stable measurement. And 
and there we go. Do you want to take over the calibration data for the adjustment? So if you feel like it's a good calibration, <clears throat> at this point you would say okay. Calibration is finished. Please, please clean the sensor before immersing in the process meeting. Once again, you would just use uh, DI water to clean the sensor. And then the important thing to remember with these sensors is that they need to remain wetted. Uh, whether they're in um, the kit or the cap that comes with the sensor, or if you've got them installed in your flow block, you want to make sure that this flow block stays full of water or full your medium. If they dry out, they will go bad. And that is it for calibrating a pH probe. So now we're going to move on to calibrating the disinfectant chlorine sensor. Now, typically your chlorine sensor would be installed in the flow block. Um, for this calibration, you're going to require the flow to be going through the flow block. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a sample of your medium. You have a sample point here where you can get your sample. You're going to use a calibrated DPD tester you are going to take your sample, fill it to the fill line. You're going to add your reagent to the sample to change the color. And this process you want to do fairly quickly. Once you mix the reagent, you're going to put it in your DBT tester. And this process you're going to use the cover. Turn on your DPT tester and you're going to check it. Now we should see zero for this because there is no reagent in there. So you would get a value. You're going to take that value and you're going to use that as your calibration, one point calibration value. So once again, to go into calibration, we have the screen here. You can see all three sensors. We're looking at the free chlorine. If we hit calibrate, we're going to select the sensor we want to calibrate, disinfection. We're looking at slope, so we're going to slope calibration. We're going to do the sample calibration. Do you want to start the calibration? Okay. Now here's where we are talking about the sensor being in the, the medium and having flow. You can clean the sensor if you'd like to. You can take it out and clean it with distilled water. Put it back in your process and make sure you have flow. You're going to then obtain your reference value with your uh, DPD tester. And then you're going to adjust the sensor to that value that your chlorine DPD tester is giving you. So once it gets a stable measurement, it's going to give us the option to adjust it. You can see this one is reading 0 0.005 milligrams per liter. That's what it's reading in the solution that's in this cap. Obviously your sensor would be closer to a, a real value with the flow, but it, here's where you're going to make that change. So you would take that number off your DPD tester and you're going to enter that number in to the menu here. We're gonna leave ours at 0 0.005. Once you enter your number, you're gonna hit your check mark and accept calibration data. You can see the slopes changing slightly. Do you want to accept the calibration data for adjustment? You would click OK. In this case, we're not going to actually calibrate this sensor since we don't have it immersed in a live reading with flow. But you would hit OK, and if the calibration was successful, you would get that message. And that is the one-point disinfectant chlorine calibration using a DPT tester. Finally, we will be calibrating the nitrate sensor. For this, you're going to need a nitrate solution. This is a five milligrams per liter nitrate solution. Uh, you also want to check the expiration date on here to make sure your nitrate solution is good. This should be stored in a cool environment too. Cool and dark environment, four to eight degrees Celsius is what it suggests. Uh, typically, a refrigerator would be sufficient. <clears throat> To test this, you're going to want a container. We've got a little makeshift container here. You want it to be uh, somewhat dark so it's not emitting light because this does use um, light to detect the nitrate. Here's our nitrate sensor. So it's already in our housing. There's a few steps to get this out. 
what you're going to want to do is first of all remove this uh, port here this is for a cleaning port uh, typically you would see a air hose going in here and it would be blowing air at uh, certain intervals to keep your sensor clean so in this point you can just take off this out external cap you're just going to loosen that off put it to the side this shouldn't be that tight if it is you can get a wrench to loosen it you're going to remove this as well and you may have some water you want to make sure you've turned off your process otherwise the water will be coming out of this port so you can do that by just turning off your valve that's your inlet you can also turn on your outlet or you could drain it out um, you're going to have process in here the next step would be to remove the sensor fairly simple you have a retainer ring that you can back out hopefully you've got enough cable here if not you can always uh, loosen your cable to have enough cable to actually immerse it in your solution we'll go ahead and put some of our solution in our container here you just want enough in there so you can completely immerse the sensor so this just slides out you have some o-rings you can see there's a little guide pin so when you go to put that in you're looking to make sure that the pin lines in the guide there's also if you watch when I pull this out there is a spot for that attachment that allows the air to go into there so when you're putting this back in you should see that hole line up in the center there and you should see that light coming through if not you want to make sure that's lined up so when you put this back in it actually threads in there correctly now that you've got the sensor out you'd want to immerse it in your solution and we will do that as soon as we start the calibration process so once again you go to calibrate nitrate you're looking for nitrate you're going to use whatever data sheet you want in this case we're going to use data sheet one you could rename it if you wanted to data sheet one we're looking at our units so you want to make sure that that's matching your solution we are using five milligrams per liter so we're using milligrams per liter no3n and we're going to start calibration do you want to start the calibration it's going to hold the value the last known value you're going to click OK and it tells you clean your sensor once again with uh, distilled water you can also use a soft um, piece of cloth to clean in here you can use um, a piece of cardboard to get in there to clean that um, that's a good starting point to make sure you've got a clean sensor there we're going to hit OK and then this is where you want to put it in your solution you want to make sure that solution is covering your sensor um, you can put your hand over the top of the container just to get to block out the light and we're waiting for a stable measurement you can see it's climbing you can see it's starting to stabilize there it's at 5.01617 and once it gets stable it's going to give us the message this is saying the temperature is not stable do you want to restart the calibration if that's the case you just restart it you may have to do this multiple times in order to get the calibration to take you want a stable reading and a stable temperature
looks like the temperature is starting to stabilize on us. Let's see if we can get it to, to stay steady. So there we go. So that one, it took us, I think, three times. So uh, you're gonna use data set point one, current measure value, 5.036, so it's fairly close. Um, nominal value, we're gonna leave that alone. And we're going to accept calibration data. The calibration is valid. Do you want to accept the data? Okay. Calibration is finished. And that is it for your nitrate.